the fuck? Yeah. Hey guys, Random Shit 1471 here, and welcome to episode 5 of the Ultimate League. Today we're going to be doing February to March, and then we've got one more episode before FIFA 17, and that is April and May. So here we are, February. We've got some big fixtures here today. We've got. What happened? Oh, okay, nothing. Right, we're just going to. So if you want to see what the table looks like, go to the previous episode because I CBA to get it up. Joking. Uh, no, well, I'm not joking. I, I... Oh, we've got a match free scheduled. Milan's been moved to the 13th to the 20th. That's nothing much there. We've got 90k from the FA Cup. Okay, first game which we aren't going to play is against Spurs. Because we've got a lot of games because we're back to two months in this episode and uh, we have some very big games coming up in these two months so Tottenham isn't the and it's a nice 2-1 win Royce with the two goals came for the others hey. of course uh, next bank we, uh, we've uh, this is part of the uh, bank holiday bonanza of course where we have uh, for, upload every day of the bank holiday including the Friday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday uh, there might be double uploads on one of these days, I don't know yet. This is of course going to be the Saturday upload, so we would have already uploaded something. I'm not too sure which will be at, at this moment time of filming, we've done this a week ahead, so I've got a week to upload it. Adrian Ramos is out for seven days, Henry Wilkerton is back from suspension, but Ilka Gundogan is suspended. And Nuri Sahin is back. Good. And here's the first game we're going to play, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here we are at the Signal we're doing a part once again here in the Ultimate League. And Rain is here. Big game here today. Um we've got big game here. Yeah, I've just said that. Last time, I can't remember what happened, it was in episode 2. I think Rob did a shit bit of defending and, uh, yeah, conceded the goal and then they lost quite badly. But Dortmund's uh, form has improved since then. What we got today? Socrates, Papadopoulos. Sahin is back. And that's the main thing. And I've skipped there one by mistake. Fifth in, bar in the Barclays Benzema. Premier League. How many goals did Marco Royce get? Oh, it's been the target. On the way here. Here's Marco Royce. Of course, we don't want a mistake like we did against Barcelona, Robert. We've been greedy. Aubameyang! A good chance to go big in. Robert's too far away from the mic. Bender, of course. Robert is blue. I'm red. Socrates Papadopoulos. Well, you know. Looking to cross it in. I know a lot of you are like, oh. Yes. I know a lot of you are like, oh, I don't know why. We've still got one more episode of Ultimate League and a couple more. Um, there will only be up to 20, the 20 parts of once going in the whole series, we'll say. So that whether one has been uploaded, that it's um, 20th episode will be the last one. And I've decided now, the last two episodes are just going to be just goals for CBA to do it properly now. After the Colin Ford special, which I don't know if it's up yet. But there is one, and there's a great save there. It's cleared away. 21 minutes. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Luka Modric. Of course, only one season we're doing here. This is more like a, a teaser into FIFA 17. FIFA 17 will be doing it from the start. The first episode I plan is going to be around the 1st or the 2nd of October. So a few days after FIFA comes out. Because we'll probably film it one of the first things we do. And then, of course, we've got to edit it. It's Pepe. I'm not saying the quality's going to be any better. Bring it! Go! Near post! This whole game has been blighted by near post goals, but Bender with the goal. We're not off the road yet. We're not going to go off. Bender! The door here! I'm all. Oh, that's poor. 
gives it off to Sahin. Sahin, they've probably given him just the first half. That's poor. Shows he's uh, rusty from coming back. And it's half time. So, yeah, only one sign in the last episode. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 0. Athletic Madrid 1, by 0. Bino 4 1 1 against Man City, Juventus 0 into 1, Milan 1, Spurs 1, PSG 2, Napoli 0, Benfica 1, Barcelona 1, Zenit 0, Liverpool 0. So we're going to risk it and put all three subs on that straight away. Nut Dush, Castro, and Giro, Kiro Immobile. And we're underway here. Real Madrid looking to do the double over Dortmund. But if you can manage to do a double over any many many of these teams, Let's you've done well. Chelsea have equalised with Ivanovic. Of course, you brought him back from loan at Seville because of the injury crisis we had. Well, not injury crisis, but about Aubameyang being injured in a couple of episodes ago. And it's a chance, and that's a heavy touch. And that is really a back pass. They had something similar yesterday against uh, Chelsea, didn't they? Watford against Chelsea. Kind of like the same sort of thing. So yeah, that's why, and we haven't really seen him since, because he played poor, like, to the game we brought back and like, like that. Ramos was like the main guy after that. No Nangalang today. Need to sort that out. I don't know why he's not in the starting lineup it, or, or on the bench. There's a handball there because, of course, remember Rob turned them on. It kind of adds to the realism, but you know, I can see why they turn it off. He's got a man coming close. He's put a ball in the middle. I mean, come, it's one of the main infringements. I know. It, right, <laughs> really? Now. That's why, I think that's why the, when the keeper rolls out of his box, that glitch, that's why it's not handball. Because that handles are turned off. Great oh, save. He had no marking. It was a great save there. Castro. Castro. When I saw when I saw the gameplay with Roy against Castro and Roy, Castro and Roy versus that guy and Spencer, I saw Castro and I thought, hang on, is that they've created Castro? But it's the player Castro because there's a YouTuber called Castro. Gameplay looks amazing. Um, of course, it, I think it depends on how I enjoy it. Oh, the keeper didn't, um, I think, didn't know what to do there. I think it depends on the demo, how much I enjoy the demo of Lord Bypez. Because I know you're, you're happy if it's any football game, really. But you'd cry if I was only said FIFA, no FIFA. Castro. Castro! Where FIFA will buy any year, but Pez really depends on the demo. Mobley over to Castro. Castro! Oh, the keeper didn't even was like. They had that covered. See, like, move like that. The keepers don't even look like they're covering it. They're just. I'm just so looking forward to FIFA 17, especially the demo. Of course, we're going to have two series on here Pez, to do with the Pez demo and the FIFA demo. We're going to do like a knockout competition. This is an official announcement. A knockout competition on both. And that'll be on YouTube. We normally do it offline, but we'll do it on YouTube. We can always do multiple. And the dog's like, oh, what a victory. And it's 1 0 final score. No, no. I, need, I can't remember what song got copyrighted, but we need to maybe skip it next time. Here's the final scores. All right, we won't be looking at Chelsea 1. Atletico Madrid 2. So what we've got, we've got suspension over, Elga Gundogan's back. Right, next up we've got a big game against Sparsborg, whatever his name is. We're only going to play the second leg if we need, if the first leg is sit, we sim and we do really poor. Why is that going really bright? I can't be asked to go in and change it. Okay, here we go against Sarpsborg, 08, FF, never heard of them. They they lost in the groups in the final game of their group stage against Nantes 4-1. I think all oh, one all, but we got the away goal. Blachikovsky, a lucky I put him on the bench. But I, I don't think we'll play that one. We've got two games: a Saturday and a Monday game. That would never happen. Only 
Christmas. But not in bloody February, it wouldn't. Some of these reschedules are so retarded. Alright, so we're going to sim this one. Although we did lose them in the cup. I got knocked out in the FA Cup. <laughs> Smurfs has got a yellow card straight up. 1 0. Abate got sent off for them. And please check left back. Zizak's not going to be happy because I still haven't played, kept my promise. Well, here we are. Borussia right, Dortmund everybody. versus I'm Chelsea here at, at, again at the Signal Duna Park. Funny enough. <laughs> well, you can tell all the changes because the CBA. Of course, we only just played the game on, sat on the Saturday, so one day's rest before yeah, they're back here on a Monday. Chelsea top of the table. Oh, that's why we're playing them. That's why we lost last time. If we win by, by eight goals from Boston, we want to get in the Europa League spots. There's John Terry. Looking at oh, Joe Two. Joe Two. Oh, I've got to put up their pyjama kit next year. It does look like pyjamas. It doesn't so much in real life, but on FIFA it does. The Look, they've only conceded 14 goals, Bayern 18, 21. You can see why they're top of the table. Of course, Mourinho would be in charge, even though, of course, he got sacked later this season. So they are playing a lot really well. So here we go. Zuchak comes in, Supic, Ginter are also in, Niango lands in, and so is Blaskowski. Well, Niango has been playing the last. No, he hasn't played. You know. Grank, Stankovic, Campbell coming into the back. Of course, so there are a lot of changes. Well, oh, the I skipped the Chelsea lineup, so we don't know how they're playing. Whoops. Run the way, only a day's rest, so half these, half yes. the team is going to be quite tired, but they want to keep some of the big game, yeah, big guys in for uh, this game because it's a big game against the top of the table. I think Chelsea are playing so bloody well. They are on course to winning their first championship in a long while. I'll have a look at the break. Great save from Berkey. I'll have a look at the break, of course, because we've got the stat sheet up there. To see who, when the last time they won the league. Of course, PSG on. Oh, Berkey wasn't sure. And it's out for a throw. Of course, PSG, the reigning champions, are nearly getting relegated. For the first time, they, I think they've been in the second division. That's really the Quetta. Oscar. Oscar! Great save, Berkey. Inexperienced defence, no. Easy cover for Berkey. There's a foul, we don't see what it was on, no replay. Berkey, Nangalan, his debut he's it was, a, of course, the draw against uh, Barca, which we haven't... Oh. Well, that was a bit sudden. Oscar, Oscar with the goal, and it's 1-0. That was his first chance to really have a run at defence, and he got tackled. Oh, William, oh William. yes, his advantage. William stayed down. He's still on the floor. Well, not William, the well. other guy. The both black. Oh, Racism. Here's Gundogan. He's got a couple of men there. Here's Kagawa. Kagawa. Oh, that's another poor ball. The balls aren't doing so well. <clears throat> His best play and also the worst play. Well, what we've seen here is a team that's better than this, I think, normally, but their defensive... But it's half-time really here, yep. and well. it's 1-0 Chelsea Don't with a goal from Oscar. There. Just going to... How do you do it? And the other score is Liverpool 1, Atletico Madrid 0. Sorry, Atletico Madrid 0. Goreng, Stankovic and Kevin Campbell coming on for Marco Royce and Ilka Gundogan, two of the best players. They've been quite poor though. We've like, we've got two bits of paper here. Um, it's got our best signing, our, our best selling throughout the whole thing. Falco, look at the make it two! And that sums up Falco. And it looks like, oh, that does enough, kind of put him off. Don't, oh, defensive mistake there. And Berkey had that covered. It's 2 0 here. They really need to get it away here. They've gone short. They're looking to see out the victory here. And that's probably why Chelsea are top of the league. Three on two. Clattering again. Not too clattering. Oh, they're playing. They've watched KSI's video from FIFA. Oh no, they've done a mistake. 
have a reading of the game. No. Oh, intersecting and getting Why? For his team. That is such a poor pass from Aaron Bamiang. And their win streak is finished to top of the table, Chelsea. And we're back to where we were. We're going to be so much better for FIFA 17. I just know it because new FIFA and all that, we always do better at it. That's a 1 0 win. Nangalan is going to get the fans on his back. Liverpool have beaten Atletico Madrid. Both teams have got partnerships with Pez now. Madrid. Next game is Salzburg. Both going full strength side, going to uh, go here at Salzburg. This could be a mistake, of course. They, they had... Socrates with the goal, 4-1 victory. After that, we only, we didn't we we just weren't playing. Oh, next up, Man United. We will be playing this one. Euro Madrid, we are now in the second month of the episode, nil. which is good. Nottingham Forest, nil. Well, welcome here well, we've to Old Trafford, the, the theatre of dreams. Manchester United Martin against Martin Dortmund. I think the previous. I can't remember how the previous game went. You have to check it out in the previous. <laughs> oh, my stomach aches. I need to put. For a long period, this was a place where Manchester United seemed to be totally. Here we go, the teams. Look at that, the graphics on that. Oh my god. Alec Ferguson retired after so many years. Here's Sinji Kagawa. Graham Scott is the ref. I think we skipped the lineups. The two sent. Nangalang is out of the team, as is Gundogan, in place, Kirch is playing the more, we're underway here, Kirch is playing the more defensive role, and uh, Marukatan's coming to the centre, Blachikovsky is on the wing, because he played well against the Chelsea game, he's about the only player he did. Nangalang weren't feeling up to it, but he's been quite poor anyway, so... Our only January signing, our only signing in this series. Schmelzer! Great block. And he's... Can he do it? Um, I looked at the uh, beta, some beta games, where you're not actually allowed to film it, but they're like... Goal! Oh, well, what a goal that is! Their pitch looks like a mound. <laughs> but look at that goal. Out of nowhere, Kagawa. Not Kagawa, Cash. No, Socrates, in fact. Cash has not been playing, so why do I. Yeah, I'll look at beta and uh, watch some career mode, and um, you can still swap teams. So, Ultimate League is definitely confirmed. <laughs> I've just brought the art the, the, uh, the football on the uh, Atari. And the Herrera Berkey's come out, he's done so well normally. What a tackle! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I don't know if we've got Burnley on it because that's the big oh, oh, oh. Berkey's come this time and oh my goodness, you, you can tell they need a Pogba and a Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And it's funny, funny enough, some of the it looks like a, they're starting to look like a side someone would sign on career mode. You know, like some signings you would never expect, and they're suddenly all there. Man United would be quite an interesting one to be manager. I think I managed them FIFA 12 and won the, I think I won the league with them. I'll just have a very quick look. Yeah, I won the league with Man United. I think I had like Eto and like Henri up front or something stupid like that. Oh yeah, I'm, and I had Bale. I still can't believe Marseille have won this league back in FIFA 12 and now they're in League 1. Who could PSG be like the second team to be like? Who knows? I always find it interesting, whoever these go down might have signed some really beast players and they like, had an amazing season last year and now they're suddenly, they're suddenly going to shoot up. And other teams like, might have a really poor season that's, that had a good rate and like Zenit for example, they might have had a real shit season. And, but what I'm trying to say is, and then they could suddenly be, they could be like, do like a derby and go like down with 11 points. Not long left. It's always interesting switching over a FIFA's when doing this. So, FC Rostons. Okay, 60th minutes. These games have uh, already started off their second half. Obviously, we're the game on TV. <laughs> uh, by 04, losing 2 0 at home to Spurs. Inter 1 1 and Valencia 1 0. A couple of teams, of course, in the relegation zone or around the relegation zone in those games. Here come Manchester United. 
Look at the horn! Dunno, that's on. Ratchikovsky, this is better football. Dortmund have not played well, but they've not played awful. Avamion's in the offside position. He's peeled away, he wants the pass. But Kagama! Poor keeping from De Gea, that unlike him. And Marukatum with the goal. Marukatum! They're surely home and dry. Look forward to that. Because Arsenal are actually on it. For the first... Well, the best Pez games, five and six, that everyone says Arsenal were licensed. So. It's good that I got two Premier League again. That's what that was always Pez, two Premier League teams, and then they, they just fucked up. And they were too busy doing shit. And a lot. Oh my goodness! That sums up Wayne Rooney. Well, Wayne Rooney lately. I mean, Wayne Rooney in the last few seasons. His last good season was like 0-9-10. He's never been in the top of the world. I don't think he ever will. And he's like, I'm pretty okay. Yeah, Valencia's looking to be caught on the ball. He hasn't been caught on the ball. Daily Blin. It's like when you could bring up the keeper. No, that's poor header. That is a shocking piece of defending. You could tell it was Robert controlling. Nah, that's right, we're winning. And Rojo with a goal. Yeah, but I made all the goals. Like Rojo with a goal, the it's all, all pointless now. Super tits to sub. If they Although lose this, this could be a very good comeback for Man United. They always got Fergie time. Fergie has been retired for a few years, but they're looking to use Fergie time once again. What a pass! Clear the way. If Amiens said it the wrong way, luckily, Graham Scott, the referee, has called time. And Man United, who haven't won the league since 2012. What? Yeah, I know. They had that in 2015. 2015, so glitchy. And Socrates' goal that started the scoring is. is uh, has led to a 2-1 win here at Old Trafford. Bio 4 has got the goal back. They're headed from nowhere. A good solo goal and... Uh, the football association yeah, that was poor defending. Right. Eight, Alright, look at the thingy to the very end of the episode, so... Which will be amazing to have Ibrahimovic and Pogba in the second division. That would be amazing. They beat Arsenal the and they beat Sheffield Wednesday 5-0. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Tottenham Hotspur with 23. Yeah. Another win. Griezmann is a good sign and we need to... Next up, we've got Hoffenheim in the last 16. Borussia Dortmund 2, Atletico Madrid 1. No, Chelsea sorry Adria, Adrian, we're not going to be worrying about you because this is our only all-German clash, of course, Hoffenheim still in the Bundesliga, Dortmund now in the Ultimate League, such a good league. Who said that? And Hoffenheim have taken a shot 1-0 lead. Shallow, right? So we'll probably be playing the uh, Europa League legs, so that'll be probably the last game we play. We're not worried about Napoli now. Why are we playing a Monday game, then a Thursday game, then move that to a Saturday? Idiots. We won't play in Napoli. Napoli are in the relegation zone. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's, yeah, but then they're playing Thursday. It doesn't really work. Hamdick, then Royce. 2-2 two, two final score before their big game against Hoffenheim. Well, they're, 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 they're a good team, but you will never feed them for the ultimate. The no, but they're in the Ultimate League. For Second leg of the Europa League. The two all German club side, the Ultimate League team that left the Bundesliga versus the team that stayed in the Bundesliga. Hoffenheim looking to be playing their way into the last 30, last, no, quarter final. A bit knocking out well, a big scout known as Dortmund. It's 1-0 after the first leg. 
Hoffenheim are leading, that's why we're playing this rope league game, we're underway here, Hoffen, this will be a big shot to knock out and ultimately scout, normally the ultimate, normally, roughly, all it's at court final, the semi-finals are all ultimate league from future experience, uh, past experiences on, FIF on FIFA's, Il Ilka Gundogan. So Dortmund have to not make sure they do not concede a goal. Two goals to go through. One will send it to a penalty shoot at extra time. A very big game here today. Because this is their last chance to try for them. They've fallen off the pace of the, trophy of the uh, Ultimate League title fairly early on. So they can't really do much. It's chance! He's checked. Full shake side near enough. Yeah. Shinji Kagawa! Come and sit there. Sit in here, kids are like. Of course, P15, we started with Crawley. For some, or, for some reason, they were in it. Crawley Town in League 2, and we got more way to the Prem. Or, no, we got more way up to the Championship than we left, so we in the Prem because we got bored going for the league. Here's Hurdlin. Hurdlin. He skipped past two. Here's Polanski, oh! and they've scored an away goal. And Bert, and now Dortmund have to now score three. We now have to score three to go through. Hoffenheim, of course, want to have a good European European Europa League to play their way into possibly being picked as a new team in the uh, Ultimate League, replacing the five at finish bottom. Here's Kagawa. Kagawa skip past three. Oh. It was all on his own. Oh, it's Rudy. Said it, Rudy. Oh, oh. Polanski. There's Herdlin. Herdlin over to Ruddy. Verky's calm and he's done it quite a few times this season and done well. And other times he's done it quite poor. Nangland, that's a poor pass. Well, poor reading the pass and it's a free kick. Is it all Hoffenheim? Who would have thought? They know. They, they are playing like the side in the Ultimate League and looks like our only chance of a trophy is going to be ending soon. Fourth place of the trophy. Done that before. Edit all the Champions League and then it just freezes. So even if they finish in the top four, all it means nothing. Oh, it's about three, he had about three options and he just shat himself. He's like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And Hoffenheim lead 1 0 here. We need two. Oh, no, Ultimate League uh, one there after Tim Madrid and Liverpool. Watford are, down there. Watford are losing 1 0. We've changed formation to a 4 4 2 attacking diamond. Or a diamond, sorry, not attacking diamond. Ramos is on, we've got two strikers up front, like the way Rob always likes to play it. And that's a foul, surely, and the ref is, is had a shocker. And it looks like we're going to fall at the last 16 stage. And look, the only hope of actually winning the trophy is all but gone now, surely. Unless we can... They did, they've done what they did not want to do, concede the goal. They've now made it three goals they've got to score. And they... And away goals, of course. To Ranyi, that's a ball. And that's a goal. And they have losing 3 0 on aggregate. It's now got to score four goals. And Dortmund, the embarrassment of losing to a non ultimate league when they are, were tipped to for. We, we all thought they might challenge for the title. They have now eight and they're going out in the Europa League. We thought they would at least semi final or higher, is what they've got to aim. And they're going to be out in the last 16. Uh, just, they're not playing well, of course, our next game by Leverkusen, the last one in the uh, this episode with one more of the series. The last series is going to be, last game of this, last episode of the series is going to have nothing to play for. 3-0 down aggregate, gets a yellow card, but he won't be worried about that. His team are through. Ramos. Nangalan. You're so shit, Nangalan. Why did I even sign him? Don't know why he's shooting there. It's just been poor all night. This is, of course, a home game. Of course, they are playing in the black kit because the kit, all the kits seem to clash. So we let them be in the, their so yellow kit and we be in the black kit. Here's Ut. Oof. Berkey, and it's four on aggregate. Three today. Oh my goodness. 
we probably should have seen this lap. And Jalinto with the second goal of his game. We have played so awful. Berkey came out there. Finally going to get a game. And Abamyang. Gate save from Boomer. Wants to keep his clean sheet over the two legs. As well as this game. It's, um, they've, well, they've made a real big case. And I think this could be one of the big first. that might be on the list for the five teams to become new. But of course, people, teams you say will take priority unless it's like something really retarded, like Gambusha. They're out of the Europa League. Nangalan is so shit. I don't know why you wanted me to buy him, buy him Ryan. Royce, is just... Royce has just lost it. Liverpool have lost one nil. Abamian does it, and here is the the draw for the, here it is. Nantes have beaten uh, Cardiff two nil on aggregate. Groningen. Groningen through. Dortmund, the biggest surprise, is out. Bayern Leverkusen, I don't know who the fuck that they were playing. Uh, no, oh, whoever that is. Nice have beaten Den Haag. Dynamo Moscow, 3 1. Atletico Madrid beaten their fellow Ultimate League 1 0. So Liverpool have gone out the same stage as us, but they've actually, you know, they had a hard um, draw. Dutch team got relegated last year. Uh, SC Cambu. <laughs> oh, we did shit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the draw for the next round, we would have got Groningen, obviously, because they do. They, we, they, it doesn't work like that. Um, we've got Leverkusen, Dynamo. Atletico Madrid is the only. Uh, it's, it's definitely going to be a non-ultimate league team, and I really think the way Hoffenheim played, they really like, the final place is theirs, unless Nice. Yeah, it has been a draw. Yeah. One of the favourites to go down by an 04. By 04, not by an. We lose. We, oh, we win now. We just. I just, I just don't know how we got picked apart so well. Okay, so the Barclays Premier League. Chelsea are top. With three points ahead, Bayern. Barcelona, who haven't won it for a while. Actually, no, I think they won it for the six games. They have won it. Real Madrid, Juventus. Arsenal, three points off of. Uh, 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 six points off a trophy in Wenger's eyes. <laughs> we are only a point off Chelsea. In fact, we are we have we were 19 points off the title. I think last episode we are now 14 points. So we could still possibly nick it if we win every game now. It's maximum 24 now. So really, uh, what's 16 minus 24? 38. 38. Ooh, we could do it. PSG. Uh, last year's champions look like they're going to pro possibly be safe, but they are only. Well, in fact, they, I think they are probably safe now. Liverpool are 16th, but you look, you look, four points between 17th and 18th. Milan. Arsenal oh, and down, are not safe yet. <laughs> yeah, but pretty much. Milan are four points off, so Milan, Spurs, and Napoli are in serious trouble. Napoli look like they're going to be our favourites to go down now. Liverpool are a further two points ahead, so they're uh, two losses and Nap Milan win, and they'll be in the relegation side. So it's still all to play for. We'll have a look at the end of April, probably the next episode. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, Football League Championship. Roma look like they're going to be moving up into the Premier League. So if you want me to, us to be Roma, just you know, we were Roma in start of FIFA 16 on the, well before we put it on YouTube. Uh, Porto. Uh, also going up automatically. They're, they're nailed on, I would say. Oh, that you look. They are nailed on to come up. Them two are definitely probably up now. Would, would you say that? Near enough. They're not going to lose that there. Uh, playoffs: Bilbao, Fenerbahce, Galatasaray. They have been in the league four. No, Behic, Isigli. I don't know if he watches this uh, episode, but he supports Galatasaray, and it'd be interesting to see what the other Turkish side, Fenerbahce, if they get up as well. Which I'd probably only, only one of them will. Shout to Donetsk. But uh, Schalke, Schalke 04, Olympic Lyonnais, and Seville all one, one, and, one, one and two points respectively off the playoffs. Besiktas are down there. Uh, three that are going down to League 1 Fluminense, Southampton, and PSV. League 1, Newcastle United and Marseille, the former FIFA 12 champions, look nearer enough. Could be coming up. They've, they've played one game more than Championship. Braga, Malaga, Stoke City and West Ham in the thingy. Udinese. Don't sound like... Oh. 
<laughs> Ooh, the lazy. Uh, one, uh, all, a lot joint with West Ham, so they could do it. And elect are also one point off the playoffs. Uh, we play at two points. Uh, nothing interesting, really. Four will go down from this league. Santos are two points from safety. Uh, Panathinaikos are further three. KAA again, Club Brew, Terenven and AZ Altmar. Definitely going to be in next year's game. Annoying. So I don't like some of the team. I think Wolfsburg are definitely up. 103 points and we're not even, they've not even made 40 get, games. They can get 124 points in the next season. They they've only lost out. two games and drawn four. They're going to drop four teams. How have we o overlooked them every single time we've added new teams? You can see what they'll be, I bet if, if we do three seasons, they'll be up. They'll be up in the Premier League, no, no time, ultimate league in three years. Borussia and Mitch and Glad back are two points ahead of uh, Moscow and West Brom. West Brom. LA Galaxy, big surprise. They're actually obviously quite hopeful getting up. Uh, it's always playful to the automatic position between them four. Wolfsburg are definitely up. Uh, in the playoffs, of course, Moscow, West Brom. LA Galaxy, Leicester City, the Premier League champions, and Crystal Palace, so Leicester City might not be in League 2. Should be embarrassing for the Premier League. And the five teams look like they're going to be replaced for FIFA 17, they won't make it. Charlton Athletic, uh, not Charlton Athletic, Wolves, FC Seoul, Brighton, Brisbane Raw, and Wigan. I put Wigan in FIFA 13 for some random reason. They're still hanging in there, but I don't, I think their luck has finally run out. Same with Charlton and Wolves, their luck is going to run out. I mean, Wolves went down to League One and they still managed to survive. Uh, Charlton, uh, Charlton uh, beat Young Boys, are three points from being replaced in the uh, being chucked out of the Ultimate League. Uh, Hull City are still in there, just they'll be a Premier League team next year, so it'd be embarrassing if they don't make it. They're six points from safety, above safety, above, above Saint Germain, Saint Man City, Leon, and F FC Porto. Cup One Cup was won by Atletico Madrid, beating Arsenal one 0 Sorry, what semi that was? Yeah, yeah I know. We, we already saw that. Champions League is Saint Etienne, Barcelona, Benfica, Poac. I don't know what that team is. Oh, well, that's a Spanish one. But... Las Palmas, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Hertha Berlin. Oh. oh Arsenal that? PSG. Three out of four Ultimate League teams are going to be going through. And that is it. So we're going to end it here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. One more episode, and that is the April and May episode. We we could still nick the title if we play really well, which is, we haven't been playing well the whole series, so I highly doubt that. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video I make.